when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle arrived at their seats for the Platinum Jubilee service, he asked one question, according to a biographer. During a Platinum Jubilee service, speculation was raised about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's second-row seats. Tom Bauer, a royal biographer, claims that the Duke of Sussex inquired as to who had approved the seating arrangement. He allegedly received a succinct response involving Queen Elizabeth II. A royal expert then said that the couple's decision to cut short their Platinum Jubilee weekend was due to seating. The National Service of Thanksgiving honoring Queen Elizabeth was held on June 3 with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry sitting in the second row. Harry and Meghan attended a Golden Jubilee ceremony on June 3, 2022, after generally avoiding the spotlight during Trooping the Color. They came to the National Service of Thanksgiving honoring Queen Elizabeth at St. Paul's Cathedral in London, England. The pair entered the church while maintaining their trademark hand-holding PDA as they upped the steps. They were led by an usher to their seats in the second row, near to the husbands of the princesses Beatrice and Eugenie. Significantly, Eugenie and Beatrice didn't lower down at the very end to make place for Harry and Meghan. A royal commentator described the seats as a telltale clue that they were allocated. On the other side of the chapel, in the first row, were Camilla Parker Bowles, Prince Charles, Kate Middleton, and Prince William. The arrangement of the exit separated Harry from his father and sibling after the 50-minute service. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge appeared to discuss the Jubilee service as they left with each other. On the church steps, Harry and Meghan had a brief conversation with Zara Tyndall, Harry's cousin. According to Tom Bauer, an usher said that Queen Elizabeth authorized the Platinum Jubilee service seating arrangements. During an interview with GB News, Bauer, the author of Revenge, Meghan, Harry, and the battle between the Windsors, talked about the seating plan for the Jubilee service. He claimed that Queen Elizabeth approved of Harry and Meghan being seated in the second row because she didn't want them to overshadow the occasion. A really amazing rumor I heard was that Meghan and Harry purposefully left late for Street Paul's Cathedral in order to make their own spectacular entrance, Bauer remarked. They say, well, everyone should step up so that we can be on the aisle itself, as they approach seats 9 and 10 after strolling down the aisle. The usher replies, no, he continued. No, you're supposed to sit in 9 and 10. Who instructed you to direct me to a seat? Bauer reported that Harry inquired. Your granny, the usher adds. The Sussexes departed the Platinum Jubilee weekend early, according to a royal expert, due of the seating arrangements. The procession in front of Buckingham Palace on June 5, 2022, marked the conclusion of the Platinum Jubilee weekend. Harry and Meghan, however, chose to forego the function. They didn't sit in the royal box with an overindulged Prince Louis and other dignitaries. Instead, according to sources, they had already departed for Montecito, California, together with their two children. The cause? Katie Nichol, a royal specialist and the royal editor of Vanity Fair, blamed the early departure on the seating arrangement. Nichol told True Royalty TV's The Royal Beat, I honestly think it's, because, they knew that they wouldn't be in the first row. They left the royal family, but why? It was her. They departed because the front row wasn't available to them. They didn't have seats in the front row, so I think that's why they missed the other celebrations. According to a poll, Prince Harry should be under police protection when visiting the UK. The prince should have police protection, according to the majority of respondents, but he must pay for it. According to the findings of a YouGov poll, Prince Harry should be permitted to travel with police protection but he must foot the bill. As Harry and Meghan Markle ceased serving as working royals in 2020, they are no longer eligible for government-provided protection. More than half of the participants believe the prince should be protected, but 37% believed he must provide it on his own. 28% of people believed he should not have any police protection at all.